I know a lot of the body cam stuff we've done the past few months has been entitled drunk girls getting what they deserve or whatever. What can I say? People seem to like it. But believe it or not, there are some less than stellar guys out there too. Hard to believe, I know, but Kevin here. I don't use pens, I just use my finger. Okay. That's what she said. Is a real piece of work. Piece of shit mostly, but kind of funny in a bizarre way. Let's take a peek. On August 25th, shout out to Code Blue Cam for the source Dispatch material as well. notified of a road rage incident at an Body intersection in Legends. La Crosse, Wisconsin. An off duty sergeant was on his way to work when a vehicle passed him at 60 miles per hour. He stopped behind this vehicle at a red light, but when it turned green, the vehicle didn't proceed even as traffic ahead started moving. While trying to pass in the left turn lane, the off-duty sergeant was blocked. The agitated driver, later identified as a 39-year-old male named Kevin, there he is. soon exited his vehicle Big and Kev. approached the sergeant with a concealed <laughs> hand. In response, the sergeant drew his firearm without aiming. Kevin briefly backed off, then returned with a concealed hand, prompting the sergeant to now point his firearm. Kevin flipped him off and went back inside his vehicle. He eventually started following the sergeant's vehicle and called 911, claiming the firearm was aimed. So the stage is set. Kevin's behavior will make more sense in hindsight, but never a good idea to flip off an off-duty cop with a gun pointed at you, let's <laughs> tell you that. After locating Kevin's vehicle, an officer initiated a traffic stop and saw him gesturing from his window toward the car in front. He's taken off. He's going north on 6th Street to La Crosse. <laughs> Kevin continued to follow the off-duty sergeant to the City Hall parking lot and promptly exited his vehicle with his hands raised. Hey. Okay. Keep your hands where I can see them, okay? He's the one that pointed a gun at me. You're okay. going to let him get away? Can you get on your knees, please? Keep your hands where I can see them, okay? Yep. Is there anyone else in the car? No. I told the 9 He's gonna place you in the cuffs and cuffs you now, okay? You pointed a gun at me when I was coming around the corner. I called 911. Why am I in cuffs? So we are seeing for the officers to roll up on. They probably don't know at this time that the dude he got in an altercation with was an off-duty police officer. All they know is there was a bit of a road rage incident and Kevin called 911 because there was a gun pointed at him. Just making sure everything's safe. We don't know what's going on. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Do you want to stand up for me, please? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to go in front of the squad here. Why, why am I even in trouble? We're trying to figure out what's going on. No, no, not at all. What's I your called you guys. Come in. What is it? Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you. I'm Steve. I, I called you guys. Okay, we're going to check you, make sure that you don't have anything that's going to hurt me. Yeah, why would I? Do you carry any pocket knives for work or anything? No. Like okay. I got a gun pointed at me and I'm under arrest. You got a gun pointed at you? Really? really? That's why I called the cops. Okay. Oh, this is how it's going to go, huh? Until I figure out that everybody is safe, I can't get into the whole what happened. <laughs> why, do you think I was, why do you think I was chasing him? Because he, yeah. my phone's still going with the 911 dispatcher. I said, hey. Feels like he's got a meth pipe in his, his right pants pocket. Yeah, I probably got meth. Okay, fair enough. And the first domino begins to fall. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's in the fifth pocket. Okay. Shit. Forgot about that. Son of a I knew I forgot about that meth pipe in my jeans pocket. Let me tell you, I would not have threatened the officer behind me and flipped him off and then called the cops on myself if I remembered about the meth pipe in my pocket. But irony is a bitch, I'll tell you what, because I probably forgot about it because I've been smoking meth. <laughs> Fuck. Come on, Kevin, not the meth pipe in the pocket again. We don't need the half of the department on this. Well, I wasn't about to jump into a pursuit as like the sixth car. This talk about confusing. Oh, he was super confusing, Kevin. Yeah. I'm not gonna fight, fight. Oh, I'm not gonna fight you guys. This is Kevin. Kevin, hey, Kevin. This is Nate. He's a good guy. I'm not gonna fight you guys. I got a gun for you, at least. This is Kevin. Yep. This is Kevin's meth Why, pipe. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong by getting a gun for you? We're just trying to figure it out, but you wouldn't stop for us right away. Because I was chasing him. Right, but you can't be chasing people no matter what. We know what. nothing about the situation yet, Kevin. I have no gun. We, we're out with him. We know who he is. Is it your, is it? There's other officers over there with him. Okay, but is it your, your deputy or something? You I'm can't not... point something at somebody like that. After they try to ram your vehicle for not going fast enough. You guys don't have permission, so don't even think about it. So Kevin's in a tizzy because he can't believe they haven't immediately arrested the other guy based on his word over the phone. And I got to tell you, you might have had a leg to stand on as things played out, but you left the meth pipe in your pocket, Kevin! Ah! Kevin! Kevin! 
The meth pipe, Kevin! Take a yeah, deep breath. breath. Everything's fine, okay? This is this is a minor thing, okay? You know what, Kevin? You should take a breather. That's some very positive self-talk, you know? Take a deep breath. Pay attention to your exhale. <sighs> Unfortunately, the officer spoke a bit too soon. As we'll soon see, this becomes a bit more than a minor thing. Kind of like how hard it is to protect our data and our privacy from online data brokers. Looks like Kevin has some bigger problems to deal with at the moment, but before... We conclude this symphony of idiocy. Let's talk about today's video sponsor, Incogni. I want to thank Incogni for sponsoring this video. And the timing is just chef's kiss because I have the perfect real life example that happened to me today that makes me grateful for our partnership. Incogni's mission is to put control of data privacy back into the hands of you and I to protect us. You see, consumer data is a huge business for hundreds of data brokers that aggregate, buy, and sell personal information like names, aliases, social security numbers, login credentials, location history, online activity, the list goes on. Some of this data we give up willingly during account creations, you know, we're checking the little boxes with the fine print we don't read, but even when we jump through hoops to protect ourselves, it gets harvested anyways because the frequency of data breaches worldwide continues to climb year over year. Case in point, as I said in the beginning, just today I received this email from my mortgage company. Dear Leon, on October 31st, First, we became the target of a cybersecurity incident and took immediate steps to lock down our systems in order to keep your data safe. We're working to resolve the issue as quickly as possible, blah, blah, blah. AKA, whoops and daisies, we got hacked and all your personal info is now being sold to the highest bidder. <laughs> Incogni helps solve this by reaching out to these data brokers on your behalf with removal requests and deals with any objections from their side. And it's all automated in their dashboard so you can see it working in real time. They'll even conduct repeated ongoing removals on your behalf to make sure your data stays off these broker lists. The only downside is you'll feel less important because you won't be getting 15 calls a day from unknown number. Yeah, maybe it's time for you to get some real friends. I'm just teasing. I'm your friend. And that's why I'm letting you know that by using my link in the description, that's incogni.com slash Leon Lush, you get 60% off Incogni. It's risk-free for 30 days. So click the link below and take back control of your data. I appreciate you. Change already inside, so I'm going to talk to him. Okay, cool. We need to figure out what this is before you can be five minutes late. All right, so I'm trying to gather both sides of the story. You're obviously in handcuffs. You're not free to leave at this point. What I still want to do, though, is gather your information, your side of things. Why am I not free to leave at this point? Because well, you got a meth pipe on you, and they did a high-risk traffic stop based on some information that they had from the initial... But I was the one on hold of 911, so that meth pipe is void right now. Because it shouldn't have been found because I was the one that called with my wife in danger. <laughs> you think it's getting... Because he's the one that called the cops on the situation. That's, that meth pipe's not in void. The body in the trunk? Doesn't matter. I'm the one that called the cops, buddy. Learn your laws, idiot. <laughs> with somebody pointing a pistol at me, correct? Am I correct? I don't know, I wasn't in the car. But am I correct? Was my life in danger with somebody pointing a pistol at me? Kevin, you're asking me questions that are rhetorical. Was, no, it's not rhetorical. Was Would your life be in danger if you were pointing a pistol at? I would say yes. Okay, so that's what happened to me. That's why I called 911. Before we get into this. That's why I called 911, yep. correct? So the dispatcher said, what's the vehicle's license plate? I said it. I said, I'm not letting them go. Okay. Before you get into all this, I would like to read you. Okay, that's what I was getting to. <laughs> Put him in the car. Put him in the car. I want you in the car, please. Uh, this or not, we can Kevin. take you in a second. Just can you please sit in the car for me? That's all I'm asking. Are you sorry? Are going crazy? Okay, just, you can take a seat like that. Ooh. Almost a hint of a whimper and a tear there from Kevin. Might make you feel a bit of sympathy for him, but uh, that will soon wash away with the rest of this video. A strong odor of intoxicants was emitting from his person. What? Yeah. I was literally walking out of the PDIC six squads. I'm like, no, we're not doing this. He said he pointed the gun at you? Yes. He f pointed it. Why do you think I called 911? How'd you know it was a gun? Because he f had it in his hand. If I could show you, cock your hand back. Like, you, like you'd like be a gangster, grab a, bit, grab a pistol. Seriously. Right hand? Ser no, seriously. I'll show you. Put your hand up. Now put the. Kevin's, three fingers down. He's directing a reenactment. Right, like that? Now put it sideways. That's how he's holding his gun. It was a Glock. This? It was a Glock 9. Dead serious. <laughs> you underestimate me? Either that or it was a SIG. I'm going to be honest, Kev. I may have overestimated you because things were going pretty smooth. Up until the forgotten meth pipe in the pocket, Kevin! Kevin! Why did I call the cops on myself? Damn it! I'm sorry. I'll stop. I promise. What's I so promise. Familiar? Kevin. 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 
know. Meth pipe bit. I'm alone, Kevin, for all Search I know. the car. I want to figure out more. Okay. Because if we're going to do a gun charge, I want to make sure that... Well, who had the gun? Him, him or did you say... I don't have any gun yet. He's claiming that... He's claiming he had a, point, a gun pointed at him, so that's what I have to figure out. No, 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 I called that yep. for a reason. But when we pull you over like that... And he gets away? I know you were pointing. With my record? I know you were pointing. Record? With your record? Whoa now, Kevin. Careful, you don't want to go self-snitching, you know? You just asked to have a lawyer, or you want to talk to your lawyer, don't start spilling the beans just yet. You know, your rookies aren't going to have your badge in a week, right? Wait, or what? Because you, you guys can't search that vehicle, you know that, right? I called in an <laughs> emergency response, and I'm in trouble. My lawyer's going to eat your guys' ass up. Okay. Give me a phone call. Oh, is I want he? my lawyer right now. Before you guys even touch that vehicle, I want my lawyer right now. You know I'm right. I want a lawyer. Right. Ah yes, the classic case of the tweaker legal expert. Tell us more about how you're going to own all of their asses in court, Kevin. I'm jonesing to hear about it. Just, just so you know, I will call, I will subpoena the 911 dispatcher saying I called in. You guys arrested me for a gun being pointed at me. Okay. Just so you know. Cool. Put your leg back. That's okay. fine. Just Thank so you guys know. Thanks for telling us. On his breath, actually. It was in your pocket. Yeah, I was. Yeah, but I'm cutting down, so I also forgot it was a cutting down on how much ah. you use. Yeah. Everything else, I will. Like subpoena every one of you. Uh, Kev, you called us in and had a meth pipe in your pocket. What are you talking about? You're gonna own us in court? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I know, I did, but uh, I'm cutting down though. Cutting down on it. I'm in the gym. I've replaced soda with Kahlua spiked protein shakes, and honestly, the meth is only like a couple times a day now. I'm doing it so little, I don't even remember what is in my jeans pocket to be honest. And then I call the cops on myself. That's how little I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm sad. All your body cams in and everything. Well, we got the body I'll, cam. I'll take the meth bike charge. Oh, we'll we got the body cam. Wrong. I didn't need a subpoena little, for it. Thank I God. I've got a little bit. I've been drinking too this evening. What? Okay. Kevin, what did I tell you about self-snitching? Now you just admitted to drinking? You can't brag about your lawyer owning all of them in court and subpoenaing everybody and then be like, you know what, I'll be honest. I got a little worked up because I'm hammered. And the math was to level me out. Also, I have 13 bodies in my basement, if we're being honest. I do, I've murdered a lot of people too. Looks like Kevin got that truth serum batch. This is art, Mr. White. Zip it up, Kev. I want a lawyer here. Okay, you're, Chris, that's you're, law. you're crystal clear, Kevin. Take the math pipe charge up. Okay, <laughs> all right, thanks. Tell you, I'll man up to that one. I'll take that charge, okay, that was yeah, on me. Worked up. I've been drinking too. Oh. oh. He's yelling here. Yeah, man. You just wanna roll down your window? What's up, man? What am I under arrest for? Well, apparently, you admitted to having a, a meth pipe on you. Is yeah, that... that's a misdemeanor. Let so, that, let that so sit there. Kevin, Kevin, listen. So, like, we're talking to the other party involved right now to figure out where we're going from here. Okay. You pointed a gun at me. I, I'm not saying I don't believe you. We're talking to that party. Okay. I don't have a gun. Do I have a gun? I don't know. Not on you. No, you don't. I'm trying to explain the situation to you, okay? Claustrophobic. There was a lot of confusion about, there was mention of a gun. As a police officer arriving on scene with dozens of other police officers, none of us knew who involved had a gun. Could have been the other person, could have been you, could have been the off-duty police I officer. I don't know. Operator. So it's an off-duty police officer, huh? I don't know. That's what the f problem is. We don't know, we don't know who else had you a gun. You just told me what it was. No, I'm giving you possibilities on what No, happened. no, you didn't give me a possibility, you told me what it was. Let's do it. One of the possibilities was let's that you it. had a gun. Tell the, tell the f truck, let's do it. One of the possibilities tell was the, that you had a gun. Why would I have a gun? Who said I had a gun? Okay. My, my recorded. Tell the truck. Can I go. explain this to you? Please? Yeah, you can. Tell the truck. Tell the truck. We can do that, yes. Let's do it. Let's go. Kevin. You just admitted that it was an off duty police officer. Tell the truck. Let's go to court. He pointed a gun at me. The recording is there. Tell the I'm truck. Tell to... the f truck. Okay. I'm done explaining it to you. I don't want to hear it anymore. Okay. I want a lawyer. Tell the Truck. You want the window down because of your claustrophobia, though? No, you can suck my now. You don't want the window down? Nope. Clearly, Kevin's not impressed that it was an off-duty sergeant that he tangled with, a bit agitated, or the last margarita he had on his lunch slash meth break just hit the bloodstream. Maybe a little bit of both. I, you know, anything's possible in situations like this. It was revealed that his driving status was suspended. Of course it is. Subsequently, an officer conducted a canine sniff on Kevin's vehicle, resulting in a positive alert. Always that suspended license, right? Drug dog comes in. Drug dog's like, yep, drugs in the car. Do the old good boy. Good boy, kid. It's a good boy. You know you guys are wasting your time, right? I'll tell you right where the weed is. Officer! Hey, officer! 
A subsequent search discovered drug paraphernalia and two baggies containing a total of 71.5 grams of marijuana. Okay. Nobody really cares about that where I'm from, but I imagine in Wisconsin, they still treat that pretty harshly. Even in Mass, where I live, that's more than the amount you're allowed to have on yourself for personal use, I think. I don't really know the rules. We got the Twisted Tea open container. Twisted Tea? What are you, sorority girl on spring break, Kev? I mean, if you're at the, I forgot my meth pipe was in my pocket when I called the cops on myself status, I expect you to be at least at the, I keep a fifth of warm whiskey in the glove box status. Although, you know, I need to at least got a cooler in the back seat. You can't drink that syrupy dog shit room temp. Even meth heads have standards. Here's the weed. He was being honest about the weed. Hey, where's my lawyer? Where's Kevin. My lawyer. I don't know. He's supposed to be here present when you search that vehicle. So the reason <laughs> no, that they're searching not. the vehicle Because is... a dog get on some bullshit. Bullshit. So Steve Hughes, Bull. do you want to hear my explanation? No, because it's bullshit. It. There's no drugs in there except some pot. Okay. So we, I'll tell you right where it's at in my backpack, right okay. there. It's right you there. Found it. Thank you. Let's just work through one thing at a time. This is Officer DeFore. I asked for a lawyer, didn't I not? You did. Where's my lawyer? I've been very frustrated, and I can understand hey, that, but hey, I'm trying hey, to no, explain No, hold on. Ask process. my question first. What? Was there a gun pulled on me by an off-duty deputy? What does that mean? Was there a gun pulled on me by an off-duty deputy? Do you want to talk about this? Did you get out of your car over here? Yeah. Did he what pull did a gun do? on me? Tell me what happened. Did he pull a gun on me? I didn't Mirandize you, so none of this counts. I recognize that. You guys are doing illegal You're just sitting here yammering accident, back so and forth. A ask for okay. a lawyer when... Right. Yeah, we, Yeah. you know, let's talk. Let's talk. Well, no, you asked for a lawyer. I can't talk to you about you any of that. You just asked me if I wanted to talk. What would happen? I said, yeah. You said none of it matters because you never didn't ring me my Mirandas, right? No, because you asked for a lawyer. Oh, okay. I would have read you Miranda. So I asked had you been my lawyer to, to be here present when you search the vehicle. Kevin, Did you never, listen? Okay. No. Kevin, I'm never going in circles. I'm going to let you take over. Did you? <laughs> We're past that right now. Did an off duty deputy, deputy not, pull I'm, a gun on me? I was not here for that. I'm here to I talk to you sergeant. right now. I want your sergeant now. Okay, well, you've been talking to a sergeant, okay? I want him here now. Oh, Kevin. So we were just talking to him. I want my lawyer here. Your lawyer is not here at this point. There's never you been a lawyer. Listen. Kevin, when was the last time a lawyer showed up to a vehicle search? When was the last time someone admitted to drinking, had a meth pipe confiscated, a drug sniffing dog confirmed their vehicle was hot, and then a lawyer showed up at the search? Kevin, you seem experienced enough to know why they're searching your car, Kevin. So look it up on the internet, you piece of shit. Why are you being rude to me? Why are you being rude to me? <laughs> I got a gun pulled on me. Oh boy, we got a Google legal expert. What happens if you called the cops on yourself while drunk, tweaking, and have a car full of drugs and paraphernalia? Search. You see, Google said your lawyer just shows up when that happens. Just search it up on the internet, you idiot. This intel is fucked up. You know I have a lot of money, right? Got a shit ton of money. <laughs> That's awesome. My lawyer is gonna tear your ass apart. You're probably not gonna ever be on the force again just so you know do you though kevin <laughs> do you have a lot of money and you think your lawyer is going to get all these guys fired was all that horseshit i'm just struggling to really believe you at this point wait till tomorrow sounds good he was then transported <laughs> to the police department <laughs> part of standardized field sobriety tests all right kevin you're going to cooperate if i take out the handcuffs and everything okay yes. perfect have you guys searched my record yet nope oh yeah yeah, that's why I just get on a car like this. <laughs> okay, a couple quick questions. Do you have any what? problems with your eyes at all? Yeah. What's wrong with them? I'm drunk. Drunk? Yeah. Okay. Um, the other one gets me every time. <laughs> right, you got problems with your eyes at all? Yeah, what's wrong? I'm drunk. <laughs> I mean, oh, god damn. That's that meth honesty, you know? You gotta give credit where it's due. He's not beating around the bush. He's delusional, sure, but he's charmingly honest in a way. When I'm drunk, yeah. When you're drunk? I'm just, can okay. we just keep all this and hammer? Well, I gotta run into fields quick, okay? No, because I'm gonna pass him, so then I'm gonna do the well, PBT, and you guys are gonna sit here Bro. and argue for Just skip hour. the field sobriety, I'm telling you, I am hammered. I'm tired of following the fingers and the pens, dude. I do this like every weekend. Just uh, put me in the, just arrest me. I'm already arrested. Just why do we have to do this? <laughs> Tell her about what you should do with me. Oh, drunk. Let's get the Okay. Spidey, give me the drunk driving, whatever. I don't care. Can you see my finger okay from where I hold in front of your face? Yep. What I want you to do is follow. Tip my finger with your I, eyes I, and your I, eyes I, only. Do you understand? Still do. Yes. All right. Try to follow him, okay? I am following it. Best you can. Don't jump ahead, okay? Well, f just do a new field field sobriety test. Then. <laughs> same one every time. This is standard. I know. That's not saying that. It's the same thing every time. I know. That's standard. That's why it's the same thing every time. I know, but I'm not gonna pass it. Okay. Don't you idiots ever come up with something fun? 
God, this test is so boring. I've done it like a million times. We're gonna finish the eye test, okay? Yo, can you see my finger okay? No, I'm drunk. I know. Good. Right, just follow him. Like so if I say no, I'm drunk, you still have to follow that mother? Yeah. Can't you do the pen or something? That's more interesting. I don't use pens. I just use my finger. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> don't laugh. Okay. Josh will laugh. Ready? Hit him with the that's what she said. I mean, uh, this guy is low key kind of hilarious. Like 1%, 99% shithead. But he's got some one liners, you know? <laughs> he got that officer, Joshua. He hit him cackling. Look at this. Don't laugh. <laughs> got him. Joshua laughed. Ready? Hands on your side. Immediately Where do you goes back to sit here and you like this? Well, I just want you to cooperate. That's what I want. I'm cooperating, but I'm telling you, I'm drunk. This okay. has got to be that f easy. Like, okay, he said he's drunk. So you want, you want to do the first test? <laughs> no. Okay. You want, want to do, do the first one? Let's do a PBT quick then, okay? Then not to say this. How many times do you imagine he's been through this? Probably like at least a dozen at this point. It's going to be about a two, about a two, two, three, I'd say. Okay. A record's three, nine, just so you know. That's pretty high. Yeah. I've seen a bit higher in lacrosse, though. So. Are you from lacrosse? I'm sorry, is he, is he yeah, bragging about his record? Test, which resulted in 0 0.165. Good. All right, can you grab the straw off the end there? Yeah, there what is go. it? It's got to be the twos. 165. Oh. Not too high. All right. I am beside myself right now. Is this man having a competition with himself on how high he can blow in the breathalyzer and he was pissed when it was lower than he thought it was? It's got to be the twos. 165. Oh. Not too high. I guess degeneracy is just built different in La Crosse, Wisconsin. That is <laughs> fucking believable. You're back then. Yep. For drinking and driving. Yeah. Nice try. You guys didn't think I knew this was coming? So I think everybody the same, same new guys, everybody else kids, right? Right. While double checking him, the officer inadvertently nicked his balls, prompting <laughs> Kevin to threaten with a kick. Thank you for that. Yeah, you're my boss again. Any better now? You don't have a felony. You're felony, so I suggest not doing that. What the? What the? Is another one. Just be a little bit more gentle with the balls, please. Mm. I don't give a about it. Please, well, around balls. those nads. You want me to whack you in the balls? No. Nope. Okay. Be a little bit more gentle. Is all I'm saying. I'm just searching, sir. Yeah. No, the first time you're on. Can I get a copy of their badge numbers first, please? <sighs> two seven zero two. We don't. No, have no, no. We got to write down. Okay. I guess you're right. Okay. Do not force me. I'm not playing games. Call on my lawyer. I'm not playing games either. Don't have to, uh, yes, you do have to. You must be. Uh, you must have been around the block, huh? I've been around the block. Who's yeah. the rookie? Yeah. No, you're smart. This guy just okay. can't stop he's, talking. He's Tell Josh he's a bitch, by the way. Goes, Goes from one-liners to asking guy, for his where, lawyer. Where's the guy that was pointing the gun at me? That I was on the phone with 911 at. Where's he at? Did he drive his car here? Is he in cuffs? Well, he's not in cuffs. Why? Because he wasn't drunk. What? He, was he has a. Gun. Yeah, because he's a cop. Thank you. That's all I need to know. Let's go. Let's go. But he has a gun. It's like, yeah, dude, he's a cop. He's allowed to have a gun. Well, case closed. Thank you. That's all I need to know. You guys are fucked. Off-duty cop with a gun. See you in court. I'm going to subpoena all of you. Nobody's going to have a job tomorrow. I'm going to own this police station. I want to get so drunk, I'm going to break my own personal best record on that breathalyzer and go all the way to point four. I think Kevin's brain has seen one too many clouds of crystal smoke. Tight, 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 yeah. Dude, he... Pointed a gun at me. Yeah, that's what court's for, big guy. I'm not saying you're lying. Either way, you can't drive a car intoxicated, brother. Either way, like, I called 911, so why would you guys know? What, what's his tox level? What's his tox level? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. I don't even know what you're saying. You guys didn't even talk? Did you order a tox level? Nope. So, you, so now, you got a guy, you got a guy that pointed a gun at me with no tox screen on him? You know you guys are right? No tox screen on your deputy? You guys are dumb mother <laughs> You don't need tox screen on him. Why? Because people, officers are justified in pointing guns at people. He was off duty, piece of sh He's still a police officer. So what was, it, what was his justify, his justification? I want copies of that camera light too. There was cameras on that light too. You guys are all f Take me to jail right now. Come on, let's go. No. Let's f go. Relax. Give me to f jail. Come on. We're not going to jail yet. Why? I, I want to go to f jail. Let's go. I, I want to talk to my f lawyer. I gotta You're holding me against my f will. Let's f go, you piece of sh You need to do a talk screen on your f deputy that pulled with Gun? You know what? I, this is the only time I wish I was black because he would have shot me. You guys would all be f You should look up how many cases I got off on my own without a lawyer. Can I have a smoke all in, please? I've been, I've been co-op. <laughs> Maybe look at how many cases I got off without a lawyer. Cool, bro, I guess. Well, Maybe I'll let my lawyer be nice to your deputy. We could just make this all go away. Can't smoke in my squad anyways. I'm, I'm not trying to f smoke your squad. Shut the f 
up. Nobody's talking to you. Well, I'm not you were just a, smoke, so You just asked me. him to smoke in there. I don't give a f I'm not talking to you. <laughs> what? You guys both in Minneapolis. That's what you did. You don't think I'm not having my girlfriend call the news company, right? All your body cams are going to get subpoenaed. Because I'm going to pay at least $25,000 for my f lawyer. You know why? Because I can't have one more f thing on my record. Because it would have been better off shooting an a Seriously. Wow. What was that? Because it would have been better off shooting an a Okay. Uh, <clears throat> wow, okay. First of all, Kevin, wow. And secondly, you, just so there's no confusion, you are, you're a piece of shit, clearly, from this body cam video. Like, kind of funny, 1% funny, uh, but there's almost no other redeeming qualities about you, from what I can see. Can you hear me okay? What? Inform the accused form. I want under my lawyer. Wisconsin I want my lawyer here before court. you read that to me. Alcohol while under the influence of alcohol or drugs or both. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Somebody pointed a gun at me. Person. Shut the f no! Or you are suspected of driving or being on. I can't wait till I see you on the trees. I'm gonna beat the f out of you. Oh, that's funny. Yep. Just what? tell your wife to get her. What did you say? Driving or being on. I can't wait till I see you on the trees. I'm gonna beat the f out of you. Oh, that's funny. Yep. Just tell your wife to get her my f house and leave Law me alone. Enforced. There you go. Threatening. That's probably a felony in and of itself, right? Just to threaten a cop. Like what was I arrested for? Right now, disorderly conduct, OWI. So operating. Where's, where's the OWI charge? It's on the people for here. Okay, because he just said there was no OWI. It's, it's yeah. Such, honestly, why is he such a? You could just be frustrated with the situation. <laughs> just, like, just like you are, right? That's why I'm here. Okay. What did I really do wrong? Honestly, between me and you, off the books, what did I really do wrong? Oh, honestly, between me and you, what did I? Come on, officer, be honest. What did I? What did I do wrong? Just be straight with me, because in my own mind, like I, I'm an upstanding citizen. Better off shooting. I can't wait till I see you on the. I'm gonna beat the f out of you. Man, you need to stay off that crack, man. Oh my god. Mother of mercy, what an actual tool. <laughs> he's just all he's, he won't even come by. He's gotta come in the door and sit on his computer. Yeah, he's just bullshit. Later on, when Kevin discussed the charges mm. with jail staff, he said, I didn't mean I would beat him up oh. if he was wearing a badge. If I saw him without a badge, I would beat him up. There you go. Okay, that's fine. Maybe. Kevin was charged with felony battery threat to an officer, misdemeanor counts of possession of THC, possession of drug paraphernalia, and disorderly conduct. He also received several traffic citations, including OWI, first offense. Kevin was eventually found guilty of battery threat to an officer. All his misdemeanor charges were dismissed, but read in. On top of that, his traffic citations were dismissed on the prosecutor's motion, except for the OWI. Ultimately, his sentence was withheld and was only given two years of probation with conditions. Online Jesus. records indicate that Kevin has an extensive criminal history dating back to 2003, involving numerous felony charges. Moreover, he has been taken into custody four times within this year. 20 years of this dude being an absolute waste of oxygen and he still just gets a little slap on the wrist. Hasn't seen any jail time, it doesn't sound like. I'm not sure the jail would rehabilitate him anyways, I mean, but it would keep him off the road while he's tweaking and bragging about his personal best BAC of 0.39. This whole video is just like one big self-own. I mean, the dude is the one who called the cops. <laughs> and I think the punchline, honestly, is like, if you are going to call the cops on some shit, whether you're doing a little drunk driving or driving while tweaking, at least take the pipe out of your front pocket. Kevin, what are you thinking, Kevin? Kevin! Ah! Idiot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go watch Home Alone now to cleanse my palate. If you could do me a favor before you go and stand up out of your chair, drop your shorts, and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me, I would appreciate it. And you know I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you, as always, for your time. Peace.